What's up guys and welcome back to Car for Sale Simulator. We've got people speeding through the neighborhood. I don't appreciate that, but it is a beautiful new day and it's a great day to make some money. Look at that, appropriate speeds. We've got a brand new update that came out last week and I'm very excited to check this out. Ooh, all of our cars are out in the grass and look at this. We have a brand new update to our office. No longer kind of the junky, small brick building that we had before. Look at this modern floor to ceiling windows. This looks like a high class establishment where you would find high class vehicles. And uh, we get to go through some office remodels today. So excited to see what we can do. Looks like our uh, our boy is still where is it? What did we name him? Greg? I forget what his name was. Greg, appreciate you. Thank you for keeping things clean. We lost a lot of real estate here. I'm going to run over the car market that's going on today. See if we can get some new items for our inventory. I feel like the Mustang here looks pretty good. See what we've got going on. 2018, 142,000 kilometers. $41,000. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna do a check on this. we got a 34B. Let's see what our mechanic thinks about this. Uh, looking like the drift kit and the turbo are uh, are not good, so that should adjust the price a little bit. That's going to take us down to 38.1, and I'll, I'll go ahead and buy that. Let's send this back to tow truck one. Do we have anything else in here that we want? I feel like it's kind of a weak day. I mean, these are usually fairly good. $198,000 on this one. Whichever one's cheaper, we're going to go with that one for sure. Default kit, 190. All right, I'm... Um, I'm going to bargain. I'm going to say like 178. We'll see how that works out. If we had a Barth 131, we got it. We're going to move that to tow truck number two. Let's head back to our setup. And I don't know if we're going to be able to fit much more than just two cars. Interesting. Our tow truck spots are actually in the grass now. I'm assuming they moved these because we used to have the big parking lot. You know what I mean? Like this, this really kind of took a lot of our space away. So if I take this, let's go ahead and start her up. We're going to fix her up, tune her up, change her paint, make her look good. Let's be careful. Sorry about that, sir. All right. Go ahead and uh, get this thing taken care of. Got our white Mustang here as well. Yeah, this thing is, is nasty. I love this. All right. So let's start this up as well. Going to get our first two vehicles of the remodel. Drift kit on there, or a racing kit, I'm sorry, ESP, Turbo, NOS. We could probably, I mean, the lights are fine. I'm going to put a California plate on there. New plates always look good. And then I, I'm going to don't hate the rims on here, but we probably could mix them up a little bit. I was hoping we were going to have some new rims to work with. Looks like we're still stuck with the same. Something like these aren't bad. All right, beautiful. So this one's all good to go. We're gonna go take it back to our brand new tiny little lot that we have. This thing looks so mean, dude, I love it. All right, yeah, we so we could pretty much, we could put one, one car on this side, one car on the other side. This brown on this thing is actually pretty nice. I thought about changing the color just to give us a little more dimension here in the front lot, but. We'll just work with these two for now. And bam, would you look at, oh, let's go ahead and shut her off. Don't want to waste any gas. Speaking of which, we probably could fill these up. I think you get extra money for that, but look at that. Got Greg even washing them up for us. Looking pretty good. So, ooh, we have to, we have to flip that now. I'm gonna grab our tablet here. We're gonna take a photo. Let's get a photo of our Barth here. Save that and then we can Grab a photo of our Mustang, beautiful. See, so yeah, all the cars over in the field aren't considered in the office. These two are the only ones that we can do. So I'm thinking it looks like about 70,000 on the Mustang. I'm gonna overprice it a little bit. 79,999 Mustang. And we can throw the uh, the photo on there. That thing is, is really zoomed in, huh? Okay, I put it on sale, whatever, sounds good to me. And then for our Barth looking like, ooh, $364,000, that's pretty good again. A little bit zoomed in here, but it's good. I'm going to say 400K. Put it on sale. Beautiful. All right. So we've got those two up for sale. We can flip our sign to make the office open. That's so nice. We can close the doors now and they st it stays open. The office isn't dictated by whether or not your doors are open. It looks like we've got our first potential customer here to take a look at the Mustang. Nobody coming for the Fiat yet, but let's see what we've got going on. I'm looking for $80,000. She says, hey, bro. How about 52,382? I mean, we're making money on that. You know what? I'm not here to nickel and dime. We'll go ahead and sell it. Let's see if we can get somebody else. And in the meantime, we might think about possibly upgrading the office upgrades. We've got our tow slots already. Office edit mode. Close the office to enter edit mode. Hold on. We got another. 
Another couple of buyers here. Let's see what we got going on. 222,524. Well, I'm going to wait for a moment. We've got three people interested. Look at these sweet shades. You'd look so cool in this car. 288. That's pretty good. And the final offer here, 244. All right, so I'm going to say don't sell. Let's send her on our way. We got Mr. Suit coming in here. Let's see what he wants. 263. 330,000. We'll offer it. See what she thinks. Got it. Let's go. All right. I'm going to close the office. We're going to shut these doors, lock it up. Greg, I'll see you in the morning. We're going to upgrade tomorrow. Ooh, we got an auction today too. You guys know if you've been following this series, I'm still looking for the RX-7. That will completely complete the collection for us. There might even be a couple new cars since we played. I'm not sure. Looks like people will leave trash out in the street now too. I'll help you out, Greg. Let's go to office edit mode. We can edit our sign. Not going to change Grand Theft Auto. We've got office upgrades. We've got move, move and delete. Oh, we can, we can completely customize this. I think we want to add more foundations all the way around. I accidentally reset our sign and our desk and stuff. So all that's sitting out there. But I think if we, if we add these foundations all the way down, and each one of these is costing us money, but we have a ton of money. We're all good to go. We're going to be able to build a mega car dealership the size of this entire plot of land. This is so satisfying. Just going to fill all these in here. We've got walls. We've got windows. No way. Oh, we can do second stories. We've got doors. Oh my goodness, dude. This is so sick. We've got stairs. We've got supports. We've got turnstiles. We've got, what is this? Like a, a, a lift? And then we've got decorations. Oh my goodness, this is sick. How big is this horse? I kind of want to put a prancing horse. Got flowers. We've got you know, whatever you want to call it. All right, we, we need to go into delete mode. And we're going to destroy all this. Oh my gosh, are we going to be able to fully destroy what we currently have? Should we? I'm just going to destroy all this, dude. Get rid of the couches. Get rid of everything. We're going to do this upright. I can't believe this right now. This is this is like, you know, house flipper and everything else combined. So we're, we're going to go with, we want this. No, this foundation. We want to put a foundation there. And then we also need to put a foundation under there. Okay. So this is our new setup. I'm actually thinking maybe we want to move this for right now. Get that out of the way. And we're going to make the largest car emporium you've ever seen. How much is each thing cost it's a it's about 500 bucks a window honestly that's kind of not as much as i would expect you know maybe we're getting wholesale prices here for the sheer amount of business that we're giving this window company but yeah that that's a pretty pretty hefty setup there look at the sheer size of this thing all right so we we can open this up and you're going to be greeted with the world's best showroom. And I saw we had stairs, so I'm actually, I'm thinking, I'm thinking there's stairs in the middle that takes you up to a second level. I'm not even sure how we would get cars up there, but we're going to go for it. Also, oh shoot, our auction started. No, 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 hurry up, hurry up, come on. Got carried away, go, go, go. Oh, if we missed an RX-7, I would freak out. Uh, we got a Beamer, we crashed, it's fine, I'm not worried about it. We didn't miss anything yet. I panicked right there, dude. I 100% I thought that was going to be the... If there's ever time we were going to get the RX-7 as an option, it would have been that. I've seen it once, and it was kind of the same thing that happened. I was just kind of grinding money, and then I, I was listening to a podcast or something and, and had it in the background, and I missed it. Give me an RX-7, please. Ugh, not. Nah. Audi TT convertible. All right. Back to the grind. So we have stairs here. I'm thinking we put this kind of right in the middle that looks pretty good to me is this a car lift that could take the car up to the second level i'm not sure how this works i'm gonna place it let's see what we've got going on if we put a car on oh no way dude oh that's how we're gonna get him up okay so we probably would have put this in a different area though this is so cool I can't believe how far this game has come along. So we're going to move this. We definitely want this to be somewhere fairly accessible or maybe even just kind of in the back. Or I, I don't really know where I would want this. Maybe on the back side of the stairs. $71,800 in improvements on the office there in day one. Looks like we do have another auction today. And I'm, I'm thinking maybe back in this back corner is where we want this lift. I will leave it there for now and we'll kind of see what happens. So we're going to go back into our office edit mode. The, the days go by too fast. So we've got that. We've got a turnstile. I definitely feel like we need like a turnstile on each side or maybe in the very front. 
I re the turnstile is so cool. I'm going to put one on each side of the stairs. I'm going to try to really make this look nice, though, and get them nice and even. How's that look to you guys? Looks pretty good. Maybe... Oh, shoot. I wish this was on a grid so we can make sure they were exactly even. I mean, that's pretty close. That's about as close as you're going to get. So we've got that there. Now we're going to have to go into... Um, we're going to want floors, right? Can we... Oh, my goodness. So we can put extra foundations here. We are spending so much money on this expansion, but it's going to be worth it. We're going to go with the double windows over the front here, and then we're going to go to the, the singles all the rest of the way. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. How many floors can we do? That's all I want to know. We could get at least two levels, or I guess technically three levels on here, but it is 3 p.m., so that means we got to go over to the auction. Come on, baby. Give me an RX-7. I can already see... It's not it over there. So I guess if we just keep looking over there, if we're in the build mode, can we look over to the thing? It won't show you. Dang it. It was a good thought. Good try. I'm not going to risk losing this thing, though. That We got a Tesla Model X. Honestly, I, I'll, I'll buy that. Sounds good. Got her. All right. Beautiful. $47,518. That's pretty good. We've got whatever the heck this infinity looking Toyota Camry. What is what is that? Yotoya Avaron. It's an Avalon. Mmm. Not quite. Dude, look at this thing. I love it so much. $232,000 day. Spending a bit more, but I think the office is almost done. Okay, this has gotten absolutely out of hand, and the game is starting to lag a little bit, but I think we're going to be okay. Can we build any higher than this? We cannot. Bi oh, you can. But we, our camera won't go higher than this. Guess we could maybe get one more floor in. This isn't even going to be usable, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to see if we could fi finish this. We're going to have a, a five-story... Uh, car park here. Place the sign up on top. <laughs> you can't even see it so far away. I'm going to put our desk in right here, maybe. Something like that. Looks good. I want it to be accessible. We've got our trash can. Do we have to move our trash can? We'll just put the trash can right there. And uh, bam, look at that. So this is what we're working with. This is gr I can't even look at it. The game froze. This may have this may have been a bad idea. We may have gone too too far. This is Grand Theft Auto. I feel like I'm in a Doug DeMuro video. Actually, I kind of want to put... Let's go to Office Edit Mode. I don't want to get too crazy with it, but I do want to put the sign up on the very top. We even have an open open roof up on top. I couldn't even reach to put the floors in up there. But uh, yeah, this is Grand Theft Auto. This is the newest, best, most luxurious car dealership of all time. We've got a lift and two turnstiles on the bottom floor. If we go up to the second floor, we've got another lift lined up with our first lift to move the cars up again. We could at least maybe take the lift up here, see what we got going on. Up on floor number three, look at that, another lift to take up. We don't even have stairs going to the next level. We've got a lift here. And I mean, I guess technically we could put another lift in, but I, I, I don't even know if we really want to go to the top. So I'm, I'm going to leave the lift out for right now. But we've got room for improvement. We did kind of hit budget cuts and, and time constraints when it came to the construction, as all construction typically does. But um, yeah, things are looking pretty good here. Now we just have to get uh, some furniture and, and things in, right? Let's see what we've got going on for office edit mode dude this is outrageous i'm gonna decorate the bottom floor and that's pretty much all i'm worried about here we've got doors we've got supports we've got decorations they're just i mean I, what what are we gonna put in here we could put a flower and a flower beautiful we've got a horse statue i'm i'm gonna put this right as soon as you walk in maybe next to our desk maybe a, a table and a couple couches over here in this corner. Although, to be honest, I mean, the, the point is you're here to buy a car. You're not here to converse. You're not here to hang out. I'm not here to buy a dinner or anything. I want you to just get in here and spend some money. So, yeah, that we're probably going to end up just selling this stuff. Another $227,000 down the drain. This has been a pretty elaborate expansion that we've done here auction's going to be open at 11 a.m but i am i'm, I'm pretty excited you know i i think the building speaks for itself we we aren't gonna have to spend any money on advertising because this is the <laughs> dude what in the world look at how massive this is okay let's uh i'm gonna pull this this thing in greg's gonna have to get to work on on cleaning up a bunch of these cars we're gonna see if we can fit 
Beautiful. Should we put the R8 and the GTR on the turnstiles? I, what, what do you even call these? Is turnstile the right thing? Turnstile is like something you see at Disney. Trying to get it centered here. Beauty. Look at that. Greg's coming in here to clean it too. Greg, I don't know if we should be using... Are you going to use your power washer inside the brand new car dealership we just spent over half a million dollars on? Yeah, that's cool, bro. All right. Of course, we've got our GTR here. We're going to pull this guy in, get him on the other turnstile. Greg, I got a bunch of work for you today, my man. Just going to try to get all of our vehicles in here. We might decorate the showroom a little bit more. That camera angle is tough. I got to figure out where I want to put the cars and stuff, though. I don't want to commit until figure this out it's gonna be a, a bit of a tight squeeze for sure how do you think we have them like maybe all slightly at an angle something like this this red Porsche is probably the most striking vehicle that we have I'm tempted to put it on our turn table thingy but um I don't know the other two are just so cool we could have a whole room full of vehicles spinning around that'd be a little bit distracting though so I think if we set them up like this if you want me to be honest, I don't think we're going to be doing much selling of cars here. I feel like this this is where we're, you know, staking our claim and, and just kind of showing off our collection, I guess you could say. The actual car lot that we had before was probably a bit more efficient. And maybe we'll do some more... We froze again. Maybe we'll do some, some changes to it and maybe make a smaller office. I think this was way above and beyond anything we needed to... It's... Yeah. It's broken. But yeah, if we were actually trying to sell vehicles here, I mean, we're going to have to pull them in and then find a spot for them, which is not necessarily easy. Probably should have put some of the decorations away from the center of the room, but it's it's going to be fine because we can't really swing this whole... I guess we can. Watch out for the GTR. I don't want to run into that. Yeah, the, the car management here of getting cars in and out is definitely going to be a bit more precarious. Got this Tesla we bought in the auction over here. It's also a brand new auction. Looks like we've got a camper van up first. Oh, I got kind of excited. Honestly, I'll, I'll buy the R8. Give me a ticket. Thanks, bud. 300 bucks. This is we have, we have an empty crowd here today. Not as much competition, eh? Maybe we're going to get lucky, but we have this minivan SUV looking thing. We've got the Audi R8 here. This is, I mean... Fully fixed up. We could sell these for like a million bucks. So, I mean, the profit on this is going to pay for pretty much the entire office that we've spent thus far, which is pretty good. $576,000, and we aren't going to end up getting the RX-7. Of course not. All right, so at least we have to look at the... <laughs> I, every time I see it, I just get so excited. All right, we're going to take this Tesla. We're going to bring her over to our dealership. I say we bring her up the lifts. We haven't put anybody up the lifts yet. We bring this in. Bought another car, beautiful. Well, what just happened? I, I think it's putting the camera up on the next level up. Oh, this is gonna crunch it. Nope, we're good. Back it up. We can put it on this lift. And then we can hit the up button again. Nicely done. And then we're gonna be able to bring it up to the next lift as well. But as I was saying before, like I, I definitely, I feel like this is not the most efficient for actually selling cars or like making our life easy. If anything, I think we'd make a much smaller building and we could make it two stories. Do we have another one? Can't remember. We didn't build another one. All right, we've got the lone Tesla up here. I don't even know how people are going to get up here, how we're going to be able to sell it, but we're just going to leave it here. This is now officially an Easter egg of our, our dealership. But um, yeah, I think even like two story, you know, ceilings, more of a, a parking lot out front to actually not have to pull cars through the doors. I, we just, you know, we had to kind of try this out here for the first one. Our Tesla M3 is out of reach, it says. Oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> okay, well, we'll we'll go get that. Sorry about that. We're going to put it on sale for 75000 not seven hundred fifty, seventy-five thousand dollars $75,000. we have got Greg up here washing it. Now, are we going to have to watch somebody, like, come in the front door? and walk up the stairs? Are they gonna have to have to actually go find it or do they just appear up here? Oh, it looks like they have to take the stairs. <laughs> We're here to support your fitness journey, Greg. I'm gonna put all of our cars upstairs every day. You're gonna have to do these steps every single time. Is anybody 
gonna come by this. I'm gonna make this like a, uh, a Mr. Beast challenge video. It's gonna be a free car, but it's the first person to run all the way up to level three. Get after it, people. No, nobody's showing up. I don't think anybody wants to take that many stairs. Oh, we finally got a taker. Look at this. Hey, yeah, you, you like, oh, the office is gonna close before she gets up there. Look, we've got all these cool cars and the ones on the turnstiles and stuff, but we're gonna make you walk all the way upstairs. We've got a super overpriced Tesla up here. I'm really sorry about that. Super overpriced. You definitely don't want it. White interior, gonna get dirty. Your kids are gonna stain it. You're definitely not gonna love it. Oh, look at this. It's actually free. You can have it at zero dollars. She says she'll buy it. Go ahead and sell it. This is an absolute monstrosity and it, it looks like we need to hire a new contractor because it is definitely not a, I love how Greg is in there just spray it away on the interior of our building. I think we need an outdoor car parking lot. Most car dealerships have that and there's a reason why. I think we make a smaller interior section for luxury cars and then we have our main car park for everything else. And to be honest, I don't know why, but I just spent a ton of time fixing this thing up and I'm a lot happier with how we're looking now. So we have a single story, but extra high ceiling set up. The only thing I don't like is it doesn't let you place a window above a door like this. We could go no doors if we wanted, but then obviously we couldn't get in. So I'm, I'm gonna leave the doors here. We've just got kind of an open air thing happening. And this is our new showroom. So we've got our you know, personal collection in here. This is mostly stuff we're not gonna be selling. We've got some nice seating areas. We've got our desk here overlooking our kingdom. And then we have a fairly large parking lot out here for the cars that we're actually gonna end up selling. So hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching that, my friends, is Car For Sale Simulator. Grand Theft Auto is looking a lot better than when she first started, and I'm excited to see what comes next. I know this office update was one of the major updates we were getting over the past couple of months, and I'm hoping they've got some more up their sleeve coming soon. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you all later. Peace out.